Remember when your friend invested their life savings in Dogecoin based on a tweet? Yeah, this is worse. Picture the shadiest corner of the internet getting scammed. Not just scammed, but cleaned out, hoodwinked, bamboozled. We're talking about the biggest darknet market heist of 2024, where a website called Pandora's Marketplace vanished overnight, taking with it an estimated $100 million in cryptocurrency. Poof, gone. Now you might be thinking, those darknet users are probably criminals anyway, and you're not entirely wrong. But even criminals hate getting ripped off, especially when it's this blatant, this audacious, and dare I say, this hilarious. Imagine the sheer panic when users logged in to find a blank page and a dwindling crypto wallet. It's like finding out your secret offshore account was actually just a really convincing screensaver. What makes this story even juicier is the sheer scale of the operation. We're not talking about some small-time hustler selling fake Rolexes. Pandora's marketplace was massive, a behemoth in the underbelly of the internet. It had everything from stolen credit card details to, well, let's just say things you wouldn't want to Google on your work computer. It was the Amazon of illegal goods, with faster shipping, probably. So how did they pull it off? How do you vanish into thin air with millions of dollars in digital currency and enough incriminating data to take down half of Silicon Valley? Well, dear viewer, that's where things get really interesting. See, the darknet thrives on a paradox. It's a place built on anonymity and distrust. Yet it relies heavily on reputation and, dare I say it again, trust. You don't just hand over your hard-earned Bitcoin to some anonymous avatar with a skull for a profile picture. No, you rely on reviews, ratings, and forums filled with questionable grammar and even more questionable hygiene advice. It's like Yelp, but for illegal activities. Pandora's marketplace had all of that and more. It had been around for a while, building a reputation for reliable transactions, discreet customer service, as discreet as you can get when selling stolen identities. And most importantly, a robust escrow system. This system acted as a middleman, holding the buyer's cryptocurrency until the goods arrived, ensuring nobody got ripped off, in theory, at least. But here's the thing about trust. It's like a sandcastle. It takes time and effort to build, but one big wave can wash it all away. And in this case, the wave was a meticulously planned exit scam. The masterminds behind Pandora's marketplace didn't need guns or ski masks. They just needed a deep understanding of human psychology, a dash of coding genius, and a whole lot of audacity. This wasn't some smash and grab job. This was a meticulously planned heist, executed with the precision of a Swiss watch and the subtlety of a sledgehammer to the face. Remember that robust escrow system? Turns out it wasn't so robust after all, it was all smoke and mirrors. Ones and zeros manipulated to create an illusion of security. The scammers had slowly been siphoning off funds from the escrow accounts, little by little, over months. Like a digital termite infestation, they chipped away at the foundation, all while maintaining the facade of a thriving marketplace. They even ramped up their operation in the weeks leading up to the heist, offering flash sales and unbelievable discounts, luring in more users and, of course, more cryptocurrency. It was like offering a going out of business sale, except the business was going out of business because they were about to rob everyone blind. And then, poof, they vanished. Servers went dark, websites disappeared, and the digital equivalent of tumbleweed rolled through the forums. The only thing left was a collective gasp of disbelief, followed by a torrent of expletives that would make a sailor blush. The fallout was, as you can imagine, spectacular. Imagine a room full of people who just realized they invested in a Ponzi scheme run by a pigeon wearing a monocle. There was anger, confusion, and a healthy dose of I told you so from those who never quite trusted a website called Pandora's Marketplace. Forums lit up with accusations, conspiracy theories, and threats of violence, most of which were probably empty, but still slightly unnerving. But amidst the chaos, there was also a grudging sense of admiration. It was the perfect crime, executed with ruthless efficiency and a healthy dose of dark humor. It was like watching a magic trick, knowing you'd been fooled, but still applauding the sheer skill of it all. Of course, nobody's applauding when it's their life savings disappearing faster than a politician's promise during an election year. The authorities, as they often are in matters of the darknet, were left playing catch up. It's hard enough tracking down cyber criminals when they to be found, let alone when they vanish into the digital ether with millions of dollars. It's like trying to catch smoke with a butterfly net. Sure, you might catch a few stray particles, 
but the vast majority of it is gone, vanished into the digital wind. So what's the lesson here? Don't trust anyone on the darknet, especially if they're offering you a deal that sounds too good to be true. Well, yes, but it goes beyond that. This is a story about the inherent risks of online platforms, even the legitimate ones. Trust, anonymity and security are all delicate constructs in the digital world, easily manipulated and exploited. It's a reminder that behind those sleek interfaces and reassuring algorithms, there are real people with real motivations, some of whom are not afraid to exploit your trust for their own gain. It's a reminder to be vigilant, to be skeptical, and to always, always read the fine print. But hey, this is the internet we're talking about. It's a wild west of cat videos, misinformation, and the occasional Nigerian prince looking for a business partner. You can't live your life in fear of every shady website and anonymous avatar. That's no way to live. Just remember, dear viewer, a healthy dose of skepticism goes a long way. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If someone online is asking for your bank details or offering to double your Bitcoin, they're probably not your friend. And if you ever find yourself browsing the dark net, remember the tale of Pandora's marketplace. It's a jungle out there, and not everyone is who they claim to be. Stay sharp, stay safe, and maybe invest in a good VPN, you know, just in case.